crazy. I read this the other day. What's that? On average, YouTube has over 1 billion mobile views a day. And on top of that, 300 hours worth of video uploaded in a minute. That is incredible. Sounds like a ton of competition, but you can break through. But let's talk about why YouTube is so important, starting with why we should use YouTube. Video content is effective. I mean, I'm sure you've been on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever you use. You're, you're on YouTube right now. On YouTube <laughs> and you've caught a video and you just get lost in it, right? You spend the two, three, 15, 20 hours, whatever you're doing. The rabbit it, hole. And you're watching that content. So you already know video is effective. So what's also cool about YouTube, it helps you build a community. And think about it, when it comes to marketing your brand, if you get a large group behind you, that's sustainable for more success, growing more word of mouth, growing your business. And another thing to keep in mind about YouTube, they are really all about the subscribe. That is key to growing your community. So while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. By publishing quality videos, really interacting with your followers, it's really gonna foster that, that, that community that you were talking about and make them eager to wanna share your videos with people that they know. And having a loyal audience provides unlimited opportunities to grow and market your products. And Emma, you talked about mobile in the very beginning with that incredible stat, YouTube is mobile friendly. So all those videos look great on mobile. And if you're not producing content for that platform, you're alienating a large population. So I know you're asking yourself at home, how do you make money on YouTube? Have you ever heard of the YouTube Partner Program? Back in January of 2018, they changed their policy. And the policy was all about how you actually can earn revenue on YouTube. Yeah, and it's important to note that you actually have to apply to be mm -hmm. a part of this program and be accepted. So not only is there an application for this, but there's also a minimum with who is eligible for this as well. So let's go through that. Starting with ensuring that you follow the program's guidelines, that you live in a certain country, and your channel has over 4,000 public watch hours in the last 12 months. Also have more than 1,000 subscribers and make sure your account is linked to Google AdSense. So let's talk about AdSense and how you can actually earn money with it. So YouTube is a subsidiary of Google and AdSense is a product of Google, which that's how it allows you to make money on YouTube. So these are the ads that pop up on your video. It's estimated that creators can make anywhere from three to $10 per 1,000 viewer engagements. So with some simple math, if you have 10,000 views on your videos, you can make at least $300. Okay, so Neely, what about YouTube Premium because they're not being shown ads. So if they're not being shown ads, how is anyone making money? Yeah, that makes sense. So YouTube actually gives a percentage to those creators based on things like watch time and viewer engagement. So I would add the channel membership feature. And this is a great way to offer like incentives and rewards for people who are tuning into your channel or becoming a monthly viewer or a subscriber. Yeah, it's just like Patreon basically. So you can also sell products from your merchandise shelf. So if you live in one of the approved countries and have over 10,000 subscribers, you can show your up to 12 products from your Teespring merch page. Also, I'd recommend enabling the super chat function because what it allows users to do is have the actual comments pinned to the top, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's just like Twitch. You can also produce sponsored videos. Now, what this is, is another brand or company paying you to promote them on your own video, much like a micro celebrity. Yeah, totally. And be sure to follow the FTC guidelines and think about your audience, keep them in mind. You don't wanna just go promotion crazy because then if you're just constantly promoting your content, you're gonna maybe lose that engagement with them. So keep them in mind, they're following you for a reason, stick with that. What is it that they would wanna see? What a lot of other YouTubers are doing now on top of all this, or if they don't even meet those requirements to join the program, for example, is they'll sell their own stuff. They may link off to their own, say Etsy store or WordPress site or whatever they're selling their e-commerce items on and then just promote those. So Emma, if you had your own YouTube channel and you were gonna sell something, what would that be? Jokes? You're not getting any money. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking about like when you sell on YouTube, like I have, for example, like a lot of cool vintage pieces, but do you do that on YouTube? Would I showcase the vintage pieces that I have in a YouTube video and sell it? Well, for a lot of people, you're directing them off to another source. Now, some people oh. will do that for like affiliate marketing, like maybe they have affiliates with Amazon and they say, cool, here's all the equipment I use to create this video, and they link off. Oh, that or, makes sense. Here's some okay. cool swag of my shirt with my face on it, or whatever for that sale. looks like. 
you can use those other revenue streams to get that money. So speaking of making money on YouTube, I know I like to think about how to make more money. So we're gonna talk about branding, marketing, and SEO to help you make more money on YouTube. Yeah, so getting into those programs are nice, but you really wanna create a sustainable income and revenue streams, right? So let's talk mm -hmm. through a couple ways to do that. Let's do it. So first off, you wanna think about how can you build an engaged following, build your audience, right? right? And a lot of times I think of first, hey, what's gonna make them unsubscribe? Just keep in mind, don't do that. Um, but also how frequent you should post. They give the same advice with social media. If you're only posting once every three months, I'm gonna unfollow you. There's nothing there. You gotta give me something of value. You gotta keep me tuned in. And so think about the frequency and what you're putting out there when it comes to building your audience. You will also wanna optimize your video and your channels. So this is everything from the logo you use, the header you use, that trailer, that 30 to 60 little, basically ad spot to promote you and your business when someone comes to your channel. Yeah. The titles you use, it's gonna take a lot of research, but it's definitely worth it because these first impressions last. Yeah, and it's so meticulous, right? I mean, think about how much time we spent just on the thumbnails with our videos. <laughs> Too long. Too long. I'd also encourage you to think about how to market your brand and your video off of YouTube. So cross promote. You know, one thing we do is we take the YouTube videos and we cross promote them over to Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, we'll maybe get like a condensed version since Instagram takes a minute and says right. link in the bio. Change the link. Links off back to YouTube where they can see the entire video. And if they're not a subscriber, they can subscribe. But we would recommend not to put all your eggs in one basket. So don't make YouTube your only thing, right? Remember mm -hmm. MySpace and Vine? They're gone. What happens if YouTube is gone? It's not likely, but it's really good to diversify your attention on all these different mm -hmm. platforms just in case.